Hello and welcome to Challenge the Road. We've got to talk about the previous video, haven't we? Are EV vans pointless? Uh, well, I think they are. So we'll probably get to the end of the video pretty quick. But I want to go through some of your comments because that's what I said. I said, let's look at all the comments. So we've had 202 comments, which is a lot. And I thought, let's just read some of them out. So they wouldn't work for me for two reasons. I cover over 300 miles a day a large portion of which is a fully loaded. Now, that's quite an interesting point because I've been doing even more research on EV vans and it's not good. Now, when they're loaded up, you're probably gonna lose another 30%. So I was looking at some vans that were 126 miles range. They were getting sort of 90, maybe less 80. Um, it seems to be as well that on the test results, the vans that were in city areas were getting a lot less mileage than ones that were going on the highway which you'd think would be the other way around but it's not so yeah just a few more bits on here um, I would miss my jobs because it's impossible you know if you get an evening job and your car's you know and it's charging you wouldn't be able to do it so <clears throat> let's just go to another one uh, I'm a self-employed EV van driver and that's what we wanted I have an e-expert and it's done 77,000 miles in two years he gets 150 to 170 miles, which goes further than I can. That's a lot for a van. I'll be interested about that e-expert van, because that's a reasonable range. Repair bills so far is two front, front tires and a rear bulb. That is the good thing with EV cars, even though I don't like it, that it's gonna put mechanics out of work in the future. I'm not happy about that. You know that from previous videos. I still have the two original rear tires. Crikey, that, that's pretty good going for 77,000 miles. The other thing with some of these comments is just understanding that they're real. I never know. I, I get a good feeling. I actually go to people's profiles and have a look, make sure it's not a bot or someone just trying to put a comment in to throw me off. I'm not silly. Um, no, no issues with charging. 35, 30 to 45 minute rapid charging, a coffee break. Yeah, if you can find one to do that. I love it, best thing I've ever driven. Now to drive, I expect an EV van is actually pretty nice because as an EV vehicle, I think it is pretty good. Longest single day journey, 539 miles, never run out, never queued at a charging, um, 60 to 65 mile an hour, great fun at the lights, took me a year to decide to jump. Um, so yeah, so that's a good comment there from Colin, 7898. Oh, this is interesting, because um, I did say, has anyone seen an electric van? I still haven't seen one. I thought when I posted this, I thought, I'm just gonna go out and see an EV van like in the first corner, but I still haven't. I've seen these electric vans, but on TV with the show Silent Witness. They're definitely silent. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I don't really watch much TV to tell the truth. Um, at some point you have to stop and ask, just what is that? EVs are supposed to be saving us from. Um, do, 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 do. I swear I've seen Amazon vans which say 100% electric on them. I can't think what brand vehicle they are, maybe LDV, but they seem to be delivering in my area, which is approximately 15 minutes from the local demo uh, depot. So that might be Quite a nice situation, local deliveries, I can see that, a bit like a milkman used to do. Um, EV vans work if all your work is within 50 mile radius. Anything more than that, it just doesn't stack up. Good comment again. Richard, Ford are insisting that when fleet terms are signed on LCV, the business will take 10% EV. Obviously they need to force the market. Okay, so what we spoke about was that Ford are going to have to sell like 10% of their vans electric, which is going to be a struggle. I just don't know many people even talking to me about EV vans. And I just, the range and stuff. I mean, I had another story actually where they've replaced a diesel van with two electric vans because they need two electric vans to do the work of the diesel van. And that's a very good family member source of mine. I'm not making it up but they have to use one in the morning, then the other one's charged up, then they switch over. Surely this is counterproductive. Oh, and they can't turn on the heater because then it won't last until midday, which is crazy. And they are getting 70 mile range with them. 
Um, I've seen a lot of fleet EV vans in the Midlands. DPD have a lot of EVs in their fleet. Um, so yeah, thanks for all the comments. There's lots, you know, really good words. There's 200 odd here, I'm trying to think. Uh, driving schools are ditching them because they're losing too much downtime for charging. Yep, you can see that. They're probably running around, changing clients. So that's not a great area. So what's this? London Ambulance Service is buying a fleet of EV Ford emergency ambulances. Can't see any problems with this idea, can you? Yes. I would not want to have an electric ambulance. Ambulances are very heavy. So if you then put all the EV stuff in, also fuel is just abundant everywhere and I have been worried about this. Don't put emergency vehicles on electric, please. Just keep them as fuel. You know, we've had no hassle in that area. Um, I'll start to get annoyed about things like that. It's annoying, just keep them as it is. Um, I saw a video yesterday about a guy who was going to buy three Taycans for 170,000 each. He was given a valuation of 70 to 90k with delivery mileage. Now that is depreciation, yeah. So we're talking about Mark McCann there. He done a video about trying to get a 911 GT3 RS, but he had to buy three Taycans. Good video that. I might put a link to that. You can see that nice guy, Mark. Um, let's have a look here. Consumers determine the market, always have, always will. Really good point there. I run the business in a way the customer owns the customer. And what I mean by that is, is that you own where you go. Um, and, and we have that a lot in our business and we talk about that a lot. So we want to make sure the customer yourself is our main focus. You're happy. Um, you're really content with working with us as a business because you decide where you go. Um, unless you're a stupid water board company and you've been chosen by the government, you can't have any others in it. We we'll go to that, that's gonna be another video. Um, you mentioned range, assume most fans would advise to charge to 80 to 90% to preserve the battery, so even less. Yes, that's another good point. So with these electric cars, vans, they don't want you to go to 100% because you're putting too much pressure on the battery. And this is another mis-selling thing, I think. So if you give us a range and you say, oh, 300, like the Taycan, but I'm only getting 240, but then I can only do 80%, so I'm getting 200, I think it's mis-selling. Um, not happy with that either. It's going to be one of those videos. It is a late, late at night tonight. Um, I would never buy an electric vehicle. I think the post office have some which didn't work out well. Need to look into that. Um, the window cleaner that does next door has an EV van. The window cleaner has a 50,000 van. The world's gone mad. Yeah, it's a tax deductible. This is a reply, but you wouldn't think a window cleaner would be paying 50K in tax in the first place. Um, oh, here we go. We have a Ford Transit EV tipper. It could barely carry half a ton of sand and would struggle to last a day because it had to do more journeys due to its low weight limit. Oh, that's another good point. Okay, so an EV tipper truck can't have as much load as a diesel one. In my opinion, it was window dressing for the company I work for, giving them green bragging rights. Yeah, that is a good point. Now, a lot of these bigger companies are trying to be greener, more eco-friendly, but are then running into problems that I don't think that the, the technology is really there. Um, they said it would, it was put back to 2035. In reality, it hasn't. Uh, good point here, you know, getting an EV van will depend on your use case. If you're only delivering locally or work, trade locally, they will be fine. Obviously for long distance, forget it and get a diesel. It's a good point. Um, so yeah, so thank you for your comments there. Now, just in the meantime, obviously you know I like to be entrepreneurial. Uh, Lots of stuff this week going on. I don't know, even today we was at Heva. We've got the big event, Heva. Uh, it's half past 10 now doing this video. Um, we've been doing stuff with Jake Hill. We've been doing stuff on the competition, Aston Vantage. Um, the insurance stuff I've pretty much signed today. And the car insurance, home insurance. We're doing stuff we've obviously got active on the telecoms. Thanks for all your feedback and that and all the forms you've given us. Um, so there's you know, a huge amount going on at the moment. Um, but just from a point of view of this sort of 
um, EV stuff, I thought, because I recycle phones as, as part of my business and my cousin is doing a lot of that side. And I went to him and I, I went with an idea and I said, I think these EV vans are going to be like phones. And, and, I, and I really believe that. So we set up a company actually, or oh, this week, it's the day Thursday, I don't know if I assume Tuesday. When was the video? Monday, Tuesday. Anyway, so that's how fast we move. So anyway, we've got a license for lithium, uh, for batteries, for phones, but we're gonna recycle these vans when they come up in a few years time. I can see it there, normally ahead of the game. Um, I think that'd be a really good storage unit for homes. That's what I think. I think the batteries will be there. Uh, a van is about 68 kilowatt. If it's got 20 kilowatt, would probably be a, a very good battery for a home. Um, but also not even that, these are gonna have to be recycled. You've got an EV van that's supposed to be eco-friendly that there's no one out there who can recycle them. And if, it's, if some of them are 60 miles now, they're gonna be like 40 miles. They're gonna swap them in three years, no one's gonna buy them. That's, that's what I think is gonna happen. I hope I'm wrong. Um, I don't think I will be. So I've set up that as well um, because I feel it's just wrong that we're doing all this stuff. It's a bit like solar. I'm looking at that as well. Who's going to recycle all the solar? Who's going to? We, we've got all this stuff there that we can't recycle. Other thing that's been happening is there's a new legislation coming through Europe that uh, any vehicles over 15 years old that need attention, as in uh, major engine works or stuff done, um, will be scrapped and you won't be allowed to fix your vehicle. So it's crazy times. Um, and that's gonna affect a lot of older, older cars. So if you're gonna have, you know, this year you've got a 2009 car, it's gonna cause a problem. But is there anything wrong with these 2009 cars? You're then forced to buy an EV that we can't recycle and has had all the costs of making the EV. So it's, yeah, it's enough to drive you bananas, isn't it? But yeah, so, <sighs> Yeah, please comment again if, if any of that uh, makes sense to you. Um, and yeah, thank you for all your points on here. It really helps. And we'll keep picking up some topics that I find interesting. And then uh, hopefully you do as well. And then you can reply on there. So yeah, so please like, subscribe. Um, if you share the video, it really helps us and gets us a, a bigger audience out there. Um, I've got quite a lot of videos planned, not so much driving at the moment. It's been so wet this week. Supposed to film the Vantage Monday, couldn't do it. Tuesday rain, today horrendous, tomorrow wet. So then I thought I'd do Saturday rain. I've looked at the weather forecast. It just says rain, rain, rain. So I, I just want a drier day so we can get good images and the cameras and everything else. So I'll carry on making these videos here. I did have actually, um, Someone put a comment on there about this picture up here. Um, I bought it, it's actually a RAF plane, and I bought it at Goodwood Revival. And he, he asked, uh, you know, were my parents in the RAF and that. And what it was, not my parents, sorry, my grandparents. So uh, it was actually, it was my granddad. And the reason I bought the, the image there was just because the way I work, if, I, if you remember back, and, and people come here to my office, I say to them, some of these people were 18 years old, flying a plane. Um, how can I complain about anything? And I had a story once where, where we were at the office, uh, you used to have quite a long walk from the car park to the office. And I always remember it, that someone was really unhappy. And I said, why are they unhappy? They said, oh, well, they had to walk from the car park. We're talking 100 yards maximum to walk from the car park, Richard, they got really wet. And I said, well, didn't they bring a brolly? Or no, no, no. I said, well, get them to come and see me in the meeting room. So they come down, I had a chat, and they said, oh, you know, I got really wet. Couldn't we have the car park closer and that? I said, well, when my granddad was a boy, he said that when the bombs were going over, he was walking to school and he had to keep jumping in the ditch uh, to get to school. And I said, you're complaining about rain and a car park. And that was pretty much the end of the conversation. So I keep stuff like that to remind me, one of all the people that lost their lives for us back in the day, but also I've got to keep working harder like I'm here. It's, you know, half past 10, so what? You know, I, I need to work. Um, I need to feed my staff. My staff need to feed their children. 
you know, they've had, you know, horrendous times and I've just got to really, really work and push. And that's why you see me doing lots of different things, just so you know. But that's the reason for that there. I could look at that, gain inspiration, make sure no matter how well I do, I, I keep pushing as if, as if I haven't got anything. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoy these videos and I'll see you again soon.